Hello friends, welcome to .netawesome.com. In the last few articles, we have learned about Angular JS. Now it's time to learn Angular 2. Why we will learn Angular 2? This question just comes in your mind, right? Okay. Angular 2 is easier to learn than Angular 1.x. Here again, a question can come in your mind if you don't know about Angular 1.x. And the question is, can we learn Angular 2 without having hands-on experience in Angular 1.x? And my answer is yes, we can very well skip Angular 1.x and start with Angular 2. But you might be thinking that, is it really easier to learn? Again, I will say yes, my friend. Angular 2 is easier to learn than Angular 1.x. When I started before few months, I also thought that it's a very complex because of lots of configuration files. Believe me, it's really easy to learn. And that is the purpose of this article to make the Angular 2 learning easy for you with step by step process. There are many more features in Angular 2 over Angular 1.x like performance improvement, mobile support and more we will learn later part of this article. Okay? So, before start developing Angular 2 application, I will download and install these following tools. Node.js, TypeScript, VS Code Editor or Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay, so what is Node.js? Technically, Node.js and NPM are not needed to do Angular 2 work. Here we will use Node.js as a package manager. It gives us the tool NPM that allow us to download libraries and packages we will use in Angular 2 application. That's it what we need to know about it for now. Okay, so for make this application simple, we don't need to learn much, much about Angular uh, Node.js for now. Okay, so we can download Node.js from Node.js.org. So let's start downloading this. So go to Node.js.org, and here I will go to download option. From here you can download Node.js and install on your machine. So my machine is Windows. So I will download the Windows installer. Actually, I have already downloaded and installed on my system. If you have already installed, so you don't need to download again. After installed, you can see there should be one program in your program list, Node.js command from. That means Node.js is installed on your system. Okay. Now I will install TypeScript. So before installing TypeScript, we should know what is the purpose of downloading and installing this one. TypeScript is an extension, a superset of the JavaScript language. It allow us to write code in object oriented design approach, which makes possible writing JavaScript code faster. In the end, this TypeScript code is compiled to JavaScript code because browser cannot understand the TypeScript. So we need to compile this TypeScript to JS code. Actually, Angular 2 is written in TypeScript. Okay, so we can uh, install TypeScript by using npm, which we have already downloaded the Node Package Manager tool. So I will open this one for download TypeScript on our system. So after open this tool, I need to write one command: npm, then installed minus g for assign globally install this typescript then we need to write typescript so this is the command npm install minus g typescript i will click enter you can see this installation is started it will take few times uh, it's already installed typescript 2.3.2 this version i have installed okay If you don't know TypeScript, don't think much about 
it for now we'll learn throughout this angular 2 learning process okay now we will download and install vs code editor we can write angular 2 application using a simple notepad but here in this article i have used vs code editor which is a visual studio code editor i personally love vs code editor you can download vs code editor from code.visualstudio.com so here i will download this one go to code.visualstudio.com for download the vs code editor from here you can download vs code editor actually i have already downloaded and installed on my system if you already have done don't need to do this again okay so till now we have done set up angular 2 development environment now let's start creating hello world application in angular 2 before start we will download or clone angular 2 quick start template from here github.com.net awesome slash angular js2 seed here i have created an angular template for quick start our angular 2 application development with the minimum configuration files those are required at this moment you can also download from download from here github.com slash angular slash quick start which is provided by angular.io but there are lots of files those are not required at this moment and as we are going to begin and i would like to make it as simple as possible for better understanding that's why i have created one another template which is with very much minimal configuration code that are required at this moment and we'll forget about all the remaining configuration those provided by this official angular.io quickstar template and we'll see later okay let's start download this from yeah. github.com slash dot net awesome slash angular js2 seed okay okay so I'm going to download this one, this template, which is uh, just minimum configuration files I have added there. So I will download this one and then I will start writing our hello world application in Angular 2. Okay. So just go to github.com, github.com slash dot net awesome slash angular js to seed okay from here i will download this one you can also clone if you want uh, with the uh, git so i will download this one so this is downloaded now i will open this one in vs code editor okay now i will open vs code editor this one now i will open this folder which i have just downloaded from github so for open folder you can click ctrl k ctrl o or you can also go here file and open folder from here i will select the folder where i have downloaded all the files so this is the folder ng2 hello world and click here select folder you can see this all the files has been downloaded and opened here in our vs code editor so i have one folder src which contain one index.html file system js.config.js file and uh, outside of this src we have four file bs-config.json package.json ts-config.json typing.json this all the files you can see here what we have downloaded from github.com slash dot net awesome slash angular js2 seed is only for setup development environment 
so we can quick start angular 2 development and most important things this is just for one time setup and we don't need to know much about this configuration files right now as most of the time it will be identical and these files will not go to production let's take a look on package.json first this package.json files contains all the dependencies or node packages metadata that our application will depend on like you can see here the dependencies there are lots of dependencies are there and also dev dependencies are there defined so when we will uh, go and uh, write a command like npm install it will install all the dependencies mentioned here in this uh, application uh, uh, it will create one folder node underscore modules and uh, installed all these dependencies defined here in the package.json and it also contains some uh, scripts which is node command we can we can run this commands uh, like uh, if we uh, run this start so we need to write npm uh, space and start so what it will do it will execute this following TSC this is for TypeScript compiler concurrently this is for run multiple command uh, at the same time this is for TSC in watch mode whenever we will change any TS file it will automatically compile and uh, create a J uh, JavaScript file of this uh, TS file and also it will uh, run the npm run light this is for uh, run the light server for run our application so this kind of things is defined here this information all this metadata defined here will installed on our application so uh, this package digestion file is one of the most important files here it's contain all the dependencies metadata those are required for our application you understand now we will take a look on tsconfig.json this file is the configuration file of TypeScript. It contain TypeScript compile options used in TypeScript compiling process into JavaScript. Let's see typing.json files. Here you can see there are some code written, global dependencies, core, uh, dash, j, js, jasmine, node typing.json in the typescript compiling process d.ts which is a typescript definition file used for getting typescript type information when the compiler does not recognize something it throw an error we need do nothing to get typing files for library packages that include d.ts files angular packages already include them but many libraries like Java, jQuery, Jasmine, Lodis among them do not include d.ts files in their npm packages. So we have to write typing.json files to get the correct typing definition files to run the project smoothly. Okay. Okay. And the last one b-config.json, bs.config.json this uh, configuration file is used for the light server which we have defined here in the packages for run our application this run light so this is just for specify base directory because our application will run from inside this src folder and here we have defined our index.html so this will be our project startup location so i have defined this here in the base directory of this bs-config.json files so this is done now we will see systemjs.config.js which we have defined here inside this src folder so what is this this is contain systemjs configuration options now the question is what is systemjs it's an universal dynamic module loader it's load js files on demand basis i want to give you one example here we know that angular 2 application is a component based modules 
and we will write each angular 2 component in separate files for make it well structured and manageable right so now suppose we have 100 javascript files for 100 components in our angular 2 application definitely we will not load all the files at one go in the browser right it will be performance issue what system js do is it's dynamically load required components or javascript files on demand basis when what component is required it will load only that component at that time here you can see we have defined paths path server as alliance so if we define the npm that uh, here you can see npm colon that means it's uh, referred to this location and if we define this one it referred to this location and uh, here npm is also aligned so it will be replaced with this node modules so it's a simple settings uh, we will see later when we will create our first component that time uh, we can understand uh, or much better how we can use these names to refer to this js files which is, uh, is uh, resides in this uh, node modules slash angular core bundle this this way so don't get confused about this file right now we will let us see how we can use these files in our first component when we will create here in our application okay so i'm going to close this one for now again i'm saying don't feel that it's too complex because of these configuration files these are only used in development environment and we can use these files on our every angular 2 application with some minimum changes if required okay so don't get confused and uh, don't feel that it's too complex let's start creating our hello world application so what why we have defined here in the package.json and i have told you that this all our dependencies we need to install first so before uh, for install these dependencies we need to open node tools npm tools for install this all dependencies dev dependencies and dependencies don't get confused about these dependencies and get uh, dev dependencies dependencies are used in our application which will go to production and dev dependencies will not go production this is only for development environment okay so don't get confused about these two dependencies and dev dependencies so what we will do we will first run one command npm install for installed all these dependencies here in our application just open the folder where we was uh, downloaded all the files here you can see now i will copy this copy address as text and then i will open node.js command prompt okay here we will go to this path and then we will run npm install what it will do it will just find this package.json path and uh, it will start downloading this all these dependencies mentioned here okay so write npm space installed and hit enter you must have to connect it to the internet so it will download from internet otherwise it will not work you can see download has started it will take few minutes it's almost done see all are done so now if we go to this folder you can see there should be one folder node underscore modules you can see here node underscore modules is already added here and all the dependencies and its required dependencies is installed on our system so this is done 
Okay, let's go ahead. Angular 2 application are made up of components. A component is the combination of an HTML template and a component class that controls a portion of the screen. So let's get our first Angular 2 component. Here inside this src folder, first of all I will create one folder app. Inside this folder I will create one .ts file which is app dot component dot ts dot ts is typescript file extension as i have told you before that typescript is an extension a superset of the javascript language it allow us to write code in object oriented design approach so let's create one class then here as it supports the object oriented so i will create one class and then i will provide one name app component so this is our class now i will add one variable here so i need to define the variable name is title and the type is string and i will define empty string here now i will create one constructor of this class constructor so this is the class constructor inside this i will this dot title equals to hello hello world so the class is done but this till now this is not a component so for make this class as angular component we need to add something more here which is component decorator so what is component decorator e o n e n t component but you can see this is this cannot find here so what i need to do i need to import component from angular code okay as i have told you that a component is the combination of an html template and the component class so this class we have defined now we need to define one template here so the template should be let's get one template h1 now here but i will do i need to show title okay and most important things i need to assign selector here selector is app so this is done but we need to do one more thing here we need to add export before this class so this file can be accessed from outside of this file as well the export uh, specifies the component will be available outside the file as well okay so this is done our first component now what we will do we have created our first angular 2 component now we will create an angular 2 module what is angular 2 module angular apps are modular and angular has its own modularity system called angular modules or ng modules every angular app should have at least one module class the root module we bootstrap that module to launch the application so 
now I will close this one save and here I will create our main root module which is app dot module dot ts this is also a ts and uh, typescript class this is also a typescript class here i will write export class app module and for make this as an ng module we need to include this ng module here you can see one import ng module from core so if you write this one it will automatically add here this is the beauty of this vs code editor ng modules contain three things one is import second is declarations and third bootstrap so imports here we will import browser module first which is required for every angular application so we are first we need to import this one browser module from angular platform browser okay and now i will write declaration declaration and it's contain view classes that belongs to this module angular has three kind of view classes components directives and pipes so now we have just only one view class which is app component but before assigning this app component here we need to import so for import write import from it's contained in the same folder so it should be app component app component now we can add this one here in the declaration this is only we have till now when we will add directive pipes so we will assign uh, add this directives and pipes here in this declaration and the third is bootstrap this contain the main application view called the root component that host all other app views only the root module should set this bootstrap property so as of now we have just only one this one so this is our bootstrap component so i will add this here so this is done for now we will add more things here later when we will add more things in our application currently we are just doing hello world application so this is enough for now now we, we need to bootstrap this module so for bootstrap this module we need to add one more class here so just here i will add one more file which is main.ts what i will do here i will bootstrap our root module which is app.module.ts module we need to import from platform browser dynamic here I need to import platform browser dynamic also I need to import our root module from it's also in the same directory so here you can see app module app module when you can put one single line of code platform browser dynamic dot bootstrap module here i will assign our 
main module app module for bootstrap our application all are done now we just need to write few line of codes here in this index.html file so here index.html you can see we have already added these things which is required for run angular 2 application okay later we will see one by one what is the purpose of this file and what is what is doing here we have also defined the system.js config.js files for module loader okay as i have told you that main.ts file from he here we have done the bootstrap module which is uh, app module which is our root main root module so we need to import this main.ts file here in this in the browser in in the index page for bootstrap our application and run our hello world application but we know that the ts file is not will import here what i will do i will just when i will compile this application it automatically generate dot t uh, uh, dot js file from this ts files as we have written here in the start we have added tsc this is typescript compiler okay so what i need to do here i just need to write few line of javascript code here i will write javascript code for load this main dot ts file actually main dot js file it should be when it will compiled okay here i will do system dot config here i will add one thing which is default default is string i will make it true sorry true okay this will automatically add js extension and now we will import string dot import here i need to define the path and i will add catch if there is any error i need to console this one to know the error message okay so here i need to provide the path which i want to import here so we need to import main dot ts file this one right uh, this uh, compiled version so how we can do this here you can see in the system js dot config dot js file i have added this one app this in the map section right so it's what it says map tells that system loader where to look for things so if we define this app it will look for this one the main main dot js and we have defined default extension js so if we do not provide any extension it will load main dot js file which we will get after compiled this main dot ts file okay so what i need to add here app in this section i can give this name so this means system will look for this configuration file it will look for the map section then in the app it will match this name if it's matched then it will look for this main.js file okay so it will load here so our application will start working and here what i will add app is wait where we will find this app this app is defined here in our main app dot component here the selector so i have added this selector so what should it do it will load this template here in this section app so this is done now we are ready to run this application and let's see what happened if everything work fine 
then it should show one message there in our index.html file and the message should be hello world okay now we will run our application to run our application just go to view and go to integrated terminal it will open the terminal and here we will write one npm command npm start what it will do it will execute this one this is the npm start command we have written here which is defined with tsc tsc with the watch mode and will run light light means this one the light server tsc it's a typescript compiler it will compile all the file first and will generate that javascript file of these files and then uh, it will also activate the watch mode so any further we if we change anything here it will automatically compile the file and will generate the updated javascript file and finally it will run this one which will open our application in a port and uh, this is the light server so it will open in the browser so let's see what happened if i click this one npm space start and then click enter you can see it's uh, started this command and all the js file is generated for these files okay but it's giving an error i think let's see okay it's uh, not find main.ts let's see what happened uh, actually if i go back to here it's open the app this is exist in this here this one okay actually the app is defined here inside this app folder so we need to add app slash main okay so this uh, we need to add because the system js dot config file is exist outside this app folder but uh, main dot js will generate here inside this app folder so we need to define the app folder here and uh, also one thing you cannot uh, define any uppercase character here so app should be a p p not cap capital a and then p p okay so again i will uh, start this one so first i will stop for stop press control and c here in the terminal then yes and if i again run npm start let's see what happened now it should run this application and should show the message now you can see this one is working fine okay so it's showing the hello world successfully thanks for watching please don't forget to like comments and subscribe and keep watching for more angular 2 tutorials thanks